Now that we understand the, the nature of capacitors and inductors as isolated devices, including having studied the voltage and, and uh, current relationships for those devices, we're now going to turn our attention to how they respond in circuits that involve resistance and sources of voltage or current. In particular, we're going to be studying the natural and then the step response of circuits involving capacitors or inductors with resistance. By the natural response of a circuit, we refer to the way that energy that's stored in the electric field of the capacitor dissipates when that energy is given a path to ground through a resistance. Now the energy, or the, the measure of the energy, or as we refer to the energy, we typically refer to the voltage across the capacitor. So for example, in this circuit, this capacitor has been connected to this voltage source for a long time. And by a long time, we mean that it's been long enough so that the capacitor is fully charged, there is no more current flowing through the circuit, and the capacitor is charged up to some initial voltage. And then at t equals zero, there's a sudden change in the circuit. The switch is moved from this position to this position, and we have this as our resulting circuit. A capacitor that starts out with some initial voltage on it, the charge on the capacitor has provided a path to ground through the resistance, and the natural response then describes how the voltage across that capacitor changes, in this case decays, as a function of time. As we know, the current flowing in this circuit, I, is equal to C dV dt. From this derivative, we can deduce that you can't instantaneously change the voltage across the capacitor. By that we mean that we can't have some finite change in voltage in zero seconds, because that would result in or would require an infinite, uh, an infinite current. So in this circuit, even though we suddenly change the position of the switch, the voltage across the capacitor doesn't change instantaneously. Rather, it takes time as current flows, energy is dissipated through the resistor, and the voltage decays. By step response, we're referring to a circuit involving a capacitor, at least one capacitor and, and resistance, where there is a sudden application of, in this case, voltage, but in general, a sudden application of energy to the circuit. Once again, the voltage across the capacitor can't change instantaneously. Current starts to flow. The capacitor charge, or the, the voltage across the capacitor increases and con increases to a point that it is fully charged, a point where the circuit environment that it's in won't allow it or doesn't push it any further. In this circuit on the left, we're assuming that the capacitor is starting at no voltage. We apply the, we close the switch, applying the source, and then the capacitor charges up. In the circuit on the right, also a step response circuit, we have the capacitor starting at some initial voltage, much like the, um, the natural response, only now after it switches, it's switched into another circuit, a different circuit, which has a different, in this case, voltage source, but in general, another power supply, another source of energy. And so in this step response here, we'll be starting at some non-zero value and going to some other non-zero value, and our task is to determine how those voltages change as a function of time. We're going to see that each of these different uh, scenarios result in different voltage current relations or different um, voltage over time functions. This graph here describes the natural response of a capacitor that's starting at some initial voltage, in this case 5 volts, and then decaying exponentially, we'll find, with an asymptote of 0. So the idea is that it could go on and on forever and never get really to zero. We'll talk about that. But again, this would be the natural response starting at some non-zero voltage and decaying to zero. This step response describes or, or is the graph of a circuit that's where the voltage across the capacitor is starting at zero and then charging up to some positive voltage. 
This graph is the graph of a, net, of a step response where a capacitor is starting at some positive voltage and then moving to some negative voltage. And finally, we have the graph of a situation where the capacitor, is, where the initial voltage on the capacitor is negative. The switch then throws, exposing it to a new voltage source or another source of energy that then charges the capacitor to some other constant value. So the point to all this is that these voltages were starting at some constant value, ending up at some constant value, and the transition is then either the natural response in the case of exponential decay, or again starting at some constant value and going to another constant value and transitioning in there, the step response of this circuit, this circuit, or this circuit.